Hi guys, this is Dr. Bailey. I'm a board certified orthodontist as well as the co-founder of Trayminder, a clear aligner tracker app. Today I'm going to talk to you about dental midlines. Let's talk about what that means. Dental midline is the center line between the two front teeth as well as the center line of the two bottom teeth. And then the ideal by an ideal occlusion, when you bite down, there should be a straight line between your two front teeth and your two bottom teeth. Of course, that's not always possible. When looking at the dental midline, a lot of patients um, want to have their two front teeth match up with their facial midline. And that's sometimes difficult because we humans have some asymmetry in our faces. A lot of patients have deviated noses or their chins are off to one side or the other side. So when looking at dental midlines, it's best to line it up with the cupid's bow of your upper lip right here. Okay, um, and just try to look at the the forehead, trying to ignore the nose and going straight down. So that's how you want to determine where your two front teeth should be in relationship to your face. Now, dental midlines can't always be coincident, and that's because our teeth sizes can slightly vary from the right side to the left side. So if you have a few teeth that are smaller on the right side, for instance, your dental midline will be shifted to the right because the left side will take up more room and vice versa on the bottom. So if dental midlines are very important to you, sometimes to get things to even out, you may need to slenderize, your orthodontist may need to slenderize your, uh, some of your teeth so that we can reduce the size of some of those teeth to match the other smaller side. Another option is to enlarge certain teeth so that they can be larger. Uh, a common finding is that some patients have what's called peg laterals. Those are the, the second teeth in line. Some, a lot of times those laterals are undersized, uh, either on both sides or just on one side. If that's the case, your dental midline will never be on unless you leave some gaps between the smaller lateral and build them up with cosmetic bonding, veneers, or crowns. Another reason why your midlines may be off is if your bite is off. If you're class two or class three, then that can affect the dental midline. By wearing rubber bands, that will help to address some of the midline discrepancy. Finally, midlines may be off because of missing teeth or extracted teeth. If you're missing an upper lateral incisor, then your two front teeth can be shifted to one side. If you've had a back teeth pulled a long time ago, then every single tooth uh, could be shifted over to the side where the tooth was extracted. Those can also contribute to midline discrepancies. If you have further questions, your orthodontist is the best person to answer those questions because they can see, examine your teeth, look at your teeth in relationship to your facial structures, and figure out if you have any peg laterals, small teeth, or extracted teeth, or missing teeth. And those are all things that can be addressed with a proper diagnosis and treatment planning. So. I hope that you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you found it to be helpful and I'll see you next time. Bye.